So welcome everyone um, to uh, Mobisys 2020 uh, from uh, virtual Toronto. Um, just this. There we go. Um, so Iqbal Mohammed and, and myself are uh, delighted to, uh, to welcome you to the latest uh, iteration of uh, Mobisys, which will be uh, fully uh, virtual conference. So one of the benefits of being a virtual conference is that it significantly lowers uh, the bar for people to attend. And I think as a result of that, we have uh, broken all registration records by probably almost a factor of two. Um, so we have, as uh, of about 20 minutes ago, 889 people had registered. Uh, from 49 different countries, and registration is still open, so we expect uh, that a few more people uh, will join us. So we are happy that uh, there's a, a very broad and um, you know large community that is able uh, to join us today. So the reason why we can um, bring this conference uh, completely free uh, to you is thanks to the uh, you know enormous generosity of our sponsors, uh, specifically Huawei, uh, Google, and Microsoft. Um, we, we thank them sincerely for uh, the resources that they have uh, made, made available because while a virtual conference might be much cheaper for attendees, uh, there are actually significant costs that Sigma will incur, and uh, it's really only thanks to the really generous donations of our sponsors that we can make it uh, free. I want to thank our three sponsor chairs, Alex Rorschapstein, Neil Tombila, and Shi Won Hu, uh, who secured uh, this really um, uh, great sponsorship. Um, this is a, really a very big event. It's really a whole production, almost like organizing a second wedding, if, if you've ever organized a wedding. Uh, it involves a lot of hands on deck and a lot of effort. And I really want to thank and Ipo and I want to thank the whole organizing uh, committee. Uh, a couple of people that we want to point out, and uh, during the rest of the pres presentation, Ipo will be highlighting a few other folks, are uh, Arvind Gupta and Hussein Ramana, who were in charge of organizing IoT Day. This is an event that has um, become co-located with Mobisys. Unfortunately, since we moved virtual, uh, we were not able to um, to hold it this year, but you know, by the time that uh, we made the switch to virtual, they had already put in an enormous amount of work organizing IoT days. So we we want to thank them uh, for that. So, uh, Iqbal, uh, please take over. All right, cool. Thank you, Yael. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so next slide, please. Uh, since this is our first uh, fully virtual event, I'd like to go over some uh, logistics, uh, three matters of logistics. Um, so firstly, I'd like to talk about just the overall arrangements. Um, so normally we have local arrangement chairs for a local conference. Our uh, two amazing uh, arrangement chairs, uh, Kartek Dantu and Jiming Hu, they seamlessly transitioned from being local arrangement chairs to virtual arrangement chairs and have put in a lot of effort uh, in uh, make, bringing the conference to you. Uh, two key things, all conference sessions are going to be using uh, Zoom. Uh, specifically, we're using Zoom webinar edition in which uh, regular attendees are not able to share their audio camera or screen. Um, however, you are able to ask uh, questions. So the way sessions are going to work is they will consist of pre-recorded talks being played in the Zoom webinar, followed by a live Q&A in which the moderator will ask the questions uh, posed by the audience uh, to the speaker. Um, and again, please uh, familiarize yourself with the Q&A feature uh, so that we are able to have this kind of interactivity. Uh, also, there's this app on the phone that you can download called Whova, the Whova conference app. And there's a lot of uh, features in there, such as icebreakers and, and so on. Uh, you can have virtual meetups, discussions, and so on, uh, even while you're not in the Zoom webinars. So please, please check those out. Uh, next slide. Um, another important uh, thing to highlight is the Mobisys website. Uh, this was our lifeline uh, to staying in touch with the community as COVID outbreak unfolded. I'd like to thank Daniel Yakut, who's been our uh, web uh, chair uh, this year. 
uh, you can find all the information, the Zoom attendee links, which are the, one of the most critical items, as well as information on UHUA on uh, the Mobisys website. So uh, please uh, uh, check that out. Uh, next slide. In addition, uh, we have requested all uh, presenters uh, to provide uh, videos in advance. So these videos are already up on the SIG Mobile channel on YouTube. And I'd like to thank uh, Siddharth uh, Rupavattaram, uh, who is our awesome uh, videos chair, who stepped in and helped us uh, organize this. So all talks uh, for the conference, so all three days, they're uh, available right now. So if you go to SIG Mobile channel on YouTube, uh, you can see three playlists, day one, day two, day three, and all the talks uh, pre-recorded are there. Um, that doesn't mean you don't have to come to the live sessions. The live sessions is where the Q&A is going to happen, which is uh, critical to the scientific process. So I encourage you to come to the live session to ask your questions. Uh, next slide. Um, this is the program that you can find at the website uh, at, a, at a glance. You can see we have uh, Zoom links uh, for all the sessions. Uh, we have three days for the core conference. You will notice that there's um, birds of a feather session on day two and day three at the end uh, that are organized as uh, sort of panel sessions. Uh, we also have poster sessions that work differently. I will speak to that. Um, following the main conference on Friday, we will have a series of workshops that's on Friday. Uh, next slide. Um, we have three uh, exciting keynotes uh, as part of the Mobisys main conference program, uh, one on each day um, by Marty Cooper, uh, Shah Zhou, and Chandra uh, from IBM. So we have these uh, three exciting keynotes, um, and I hope uh, you attend these sessions. Uh, next slide. Our poster sessions will happen on uh, Thursday, uh, and I want to acknowledge uh, Mickey Gable and Rong Zeng. Uh, who are our uh, poster chairs. So the poster chairs, we wanted to capture the interactive feeling that you get when you're in a real poster session. So to that end, the way we've organized this is the first 15 minutes of the post poster session consist of lightning talks. So it's just one Zoom session where the lightning talks are going to be played. These are also available on YouTube if you wanted to take a look at them before. From 1.15 to 2 p.m., there will be a concurrent uh, 10 concurrent Zoom sessions. So each uh, presenter, each uh, demo poster presenter will be in their own poster session for, the, for those 45 minutes. And you can join in the sessions and we are hoping that that's going to uh, uh, have more uh, interactivity and discussion. And finally, in the closing session, we're gonna announce a best poster and demo. Uh, for the workshops, the workshops are going to happen on Friday. I want to thank uh, Christine uh, from uh, University of Colorado Boulder, who has been our workshop chairs and again, uh, working very closely with us for the arrangements. We have uh, five excellent uh, workshops, uh, DroneNet, Open Wireless, DL for Wellbeing, Versus, and Semi. Uh, some of these workshops are from previous Mobisys, they're repeats, and hopefully they're gonna be very exciting uh, in the series, uh, continuation of the series, and some new workshops. So I'm, I'm really excited about, uh, about the workshop program. Right, uh, next slide. Um, so I wanna uh, take this uh, time to reiterate ACM's commitment on diversity and inclusion in computing. I'm actually going to read out the statement. Anyone from any background should feel encouraged to participate and contribute to ACM. Differences in age, race, gender, and sexual orientation, nationality, physical ability, thinking style, and experience bring richness to our efforts in providing quality programs and services for the global computing community. ACM is committed to creating an environment that welcomes new ideas and perspectives and where hostility or other antisocial behaviors are not tolerated. I encourage all our community members to go to the ACM website and check out the material on diversity and inclusion in order to educate yourself. Thank you. Um, with that, uh, next slide please. Uh, we're going to hand off to our uh, TPC uh, chairs uh, for their uh, remarks. Great, thank you. Um, so on behalf of Jason and myself, I'd like to welcome you all to Mobisys 2020. 
Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the program and how it was put together. Um, and so on the next slide, um, we had two levels of TPC members, um, light and heavy. The 20 war light TPC members reviewed somewhere between 11 and 13 reviews, um, or did 11 to 13 reviews, and then our 29 heavy TPC members reviewed more papers, 14 to 18, and then they also attended um, the TPC meeting, um, which as I'll tell you in a moment, was moved virtual um, about two days before the actual event. Um, so I just wanna put up the names of the TPC members for a moment um, to thank them all extensively. Um, they did a ton of work. They were very interactive and engaged and really cared a lot about the program. So thank you um, to each of you. And then there's another slide also of members. Um, okay, so the TPC worked really hard. We had 175 submissions. Um, all of those papers were reviewed in the first round and they all received at least three um, reviews from TPC members. Out of those 175, 105 papers made it to the second round where they received at least two more TPC reviews, um, in some cases even more than that. And then 63 of those papers moved on to be discussed during the TPC meeting, um, which as I said, was supposed to be held um, in the physical world um, at Hot Mobile but about two days before that, um, we moved it online due to COVID um, and concerns by our TPC members about traveling. Um, so in the end, um, about 30, 34 papers were accepted for the final program. Um, and that is about over 700 re reviews completed by each TPC member. So again, thank you to all of the TPC members. Thank you for your flexibility um, with the moving of the meeting. Um, and thank you for helping us put together such a great program. Um, so as you'll see on the next slide, we had paper submissions from all over the world, um, although heavily dominated by the US and then Canada. And then this just gives you a sense of uh, where the papers were accepted. Okay, so next I'd like to move on to um, two awards. First we'll do, well, it's, it's the best paper award. So first it's the honorable mention awards, um, and then we'll move on to the actual best paper award winner. Um, so for honorable mention, we have three award-winning papers. Um, you could put those up now. Um, so we have MM Flex, an open platform for millimeter wave mobile full bandwidth experimentation, um, which will be in session one today and actually will be the very first paper we, that's presented. Then we have Selmon, reinforcing mobile device security with self-protected trust anchor, which is in session three today. And then lastly is Osprey, a millimeter wave approach to tire wear sensing, which will also be in session one today. So congratulations um, to all the authors for those papers. And then for the actual best paper award winner, um, I'm proud to announce, if you could put it up, um, that Sonic Print, a generally adoptable and secure fingerprint biometrics and smart devices is our award-winning paper for this year. This paper um, will also be in session three today um, and big congratulations to all of the authors. Um, the paper was very well received um, by the TPC. Um, so that's it. Just again, on behalf of Jason and myself, um, welcome to all of you. We hope you enjoy the program. Um, and now I would like to hand the floor over to Marco for some more awards and announcements. Thank you, Elizabeth. As chair of SIG Mobile, it's uh, my pleasure to announce additional SIG Mobile awards. Uh, first is the ACM SIG Mobile Dissertation Award, which recognizes excellent thesis research by doctoral candidates in the field of mobile computing and wireless network. This is an award that's particularly dear to my heart because it recognizes role models from the, from the next generation of SIG Mobile community members and, and researchers. Uh, next slide, please. So without further ado, the 2020 SIG Mobile Dissertation Award goes to Wingrang Mao from UT Austin. And the runner-up awards Thank you. The runner up awards go to Yasemin Gasimpur from Rice and Ilari Sultanari from.
from uh, Virgin University of Virginia. Congratulations. Next slide, please. I'm also especially excited that uh, this year again we finally have a winner of a again a winner of a Sigmobile Distinguished Service Award. Uh, this award recognizes exceptional contributions to Sigmobile, its conferences, publications, and or its local activities. Next slide, please. The prior winners of this uh, award are some of the founders and, and pioneers in this community, Dave Johnson, Rick DeBall, and Jason Reddy. Next slide. Uh, this year, the award goes to the creator of the Get Mobile magazine. And uh, it is our quarterly publication that uh, I'm sure many of you are looking forward to receiving in, in your mailbox uh, on a regular basis. Um, it uh, was built on the foundation of the Mobile Computing and Communications Review, M MC2R. And uh, when Taking over the editor-in-chief position, it would have been possible to just continue uh, the publication in the same style that it has been running for, for many years. Um, but the winner of this award wanted to completely reimagine the publication and turn it into a much more magazine-style publication. And uh, you can see some of the accolades here on, on the slide uh, uh, that co senior community members uh, have used. Uh, it's a major accomplishment for the benefit of the mobile computing uh, community and uh, many feel proud to, to be associated with this magazine. Uh, but not only is the winner the creator of Get Mobile, he also has a distinguished uh, service track record and he happens to be a, a general co-chair of this particular Mobisys conference, um, a conference that was particularly difficult to organize uh, because it was first organized as a in-person meeting and uh, then required uh, additional work to figure out how to cancel all the contracts that were already in place when we had to turn it into a virtual event it is also our SIG Mobile's first virtual event. So I was on some of the email communications surrounding that event and had an inside view in, in how much work it, was really, it really was to, to pull this off. So my, spe uh, my special thanks and without further ado, next slide please. The award goes to Yael De Lara uh, in recognition for his outstanding leadership in creating Get Mobile the flagship quarterly publication for SIGMOBILE. Congratulations, Yael. Back to you. Cool. Thank you so much, Marco. And uh, congratulations, Yael. Um, so with that, we're, uh, we'll be wrapping up the uh, welcome session. Um, I'd like uh, uh, Guliang from uh, the session chair for session one uh, to please uh, turn on your camera and uh, uh, take it away from there. Thank you so much. Okay. So my name is Ko Liang Xing. I'll be chairing the first 